Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to you know, teach you how to upgrade, prepare for the Tesla Model 3, Model Y, Twitter upgrade. <coughs> so the Twitter in the, there are five Twitter in the te uh, Tesla Model 3 and Y. So the main two Twitter is uh, the door, the door side. And the other one is just imaging Twitter. So you want to if you want to have a better Twitter sound, then uh, you have to upgrade the factory Twitter. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to upgrade it to the um, aftermarket Twitter. Um, the the stock Twitter, I think, is about 30 millimeter um, in diameter. So as long as your aftermarket speaker is smaller than that, then uh, you you are fine to upgrade it. So in here we have a um, Alpine F series Twitter. So uh, so what we prepare first, uh, you need to have an aftermarket speaker. You want to have an OEM connector, so you do not have to cut the wire. Um, and basically the black one or the blue one, they are both fine to use. A um, wire, I don't know what you call this, but uh, basically they contract and then uh, to cover the the exposed wire and then you want to have a soldering iron and soldering um, metal here and also a insulation tape and so for your information the um, Alpine Twitter is actually smaller than the factory one and um, in this video I'm going to teach you how to actually fit in and also do the connection. Uh, first of all uh, the Twitter mount is very easy to remove from the door. You just have to pull up and the clip will uh, unlock it and you can remove it. So you disconnect the um, connector. The way to remove the Twitter from the mount is very easy. You do not push it from the Twitter but you actually uh, grab the mount and pull it this way and this will come up very easily. So that's how you re remove the tweeter. Next, we need to prepare the tweeter. So the wire comes with it, it's a bit long. So I will cut maybe five, five cm for, the, for, for spare to use. And then I will use the blue one in this video. So first of all, um, just untie it, twist. And then I will cut excess amount of wire because I don't want the wire to be too long and, and then I will cut some of the tubing uh, for preparations so now we have the connector and we have the Twitter wire so the next uh, you, you can use this one to actually peel off the, the wire uh, the rubber on the wire if you don't have these two, all you need to do, or you can use a cutter, um, just turn it around. It's so easy to, to actually, uh, and this is, you can remove it. Um, I think I did not cut deep enough. Uh, just, uh, the cutter is a bit dulled. <laughs> yeah, this time is okay. So uh, same same process, but of course, if you have this uh, wire stripper, it's, it's definitely easier to you to do the job. The same for the connector side. I like to twist the wire so the the wire do not come loose. Um, I cut a bit too long, too much, uh, so I'm going to trim it off. I uh, just twist it together, otherwise the the wire will fall apart. Uh, it's already fall apart. Uh, anyway, put the I don't know what you call it. I just call it tube. You know. So the black is the negative, and the black here is the negative. So what we want to do is to twist it together make sure they are you know tight and for the positive wire as well so 
here we go and they are both tight they are very easy to get loose so we now we, we just use the soldering iron to add some solder on the wire so it will not fall apart and I like to use the um, portable one so this one not very expensive maybe I think it's about 30 US dollar 30 or 40 US dollar and uh, it heats up very quick so um, when it hits up, hit up um, you can see now it's ready to use so I normally just put under the, the wire because the heat uh, you know moves upwards so and then I add the soldering that's done for one yep so you can see uh, now it's pretty much solid so uh, and then I just cover it with the plastic tube make sure there is no short circuit in any situation yep that's very simple and then uh, having a torch Any secret lighter will work, or you can use your soldering iron as well. But um, you know, direct fire is faster. So that's how you prepare your Twitter with the OEM connector. So now, if you check, it doesn't fit quite well because the the aftermarket one is much smaller, so it loosens. It's very loose. So what you want to do? I use a three millimeter, three millimeter um, thick um, tape, so you just wrap around it. Because this one actually absorbs the vibration as well, so it's, it's it's very useful for this installation. It's very useful. So I just wrap around it, so the diameter actually increased by six mm and what you need to do just slice it in because now it's already bigger so uh, you need to push a little bit in order to let it go in and then adjust uh, adjust the directions so there we have it so now it's no longer loose you know it's very tight and we do not need to use any glue and it's a direct direct fit and using an OEM connector anytime you want you can change it upgrade or or go back to the factory one very very simple see that easy thanks for watching and I will show you how to remove the door panel to do the upgrade for the woofer thank you